The Ford Escape has been a staple of the lineup for over 20 years, competing in the very oversaturated compact crossover segment to be Dearborn's alternative to the Toyota RAV4 and Honda CRV. With the lack of an enticing subcompact offering from Ford, the Escape has been looked to as being the affordable vehicle for buyers on a budget, especially now in the 2020s with the Fusion and Focus no longer in production here in the US. Now for four years into this generation, a refresh was certainly needed to stay competitive in this ever-evolving market. And for 2023, the changes that Ford did make could once again draw buyers to return to the blue oval. So here are five reasons why you should buy a 2023 Ford Escape. Ford is one of few manufacturers in this market that has a compact crossover for everyone, whether that be in the form of hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or full gas-powered models. Even in 2023, competitors such as Volkswagen, Mazda, and Subaru don't yet offer electrification in any form within this segment and price range, making Ford a potential worthy choice for those looking for better fuel efficiency. Found under the hood of the Escape, you have the choice between a 1.5-liter turbocharged 3-cylinder engine, a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder that produces 250 horsepower and propels this crossover to a sub 6 second 0-60 to 60 time, and for the hybrid variants, a 2.5-liter 4-cylinder engine, which is what powered our plug-in hybrid for our full review. What makes the Escape so compelling is its car-like demeanor and handling characteristics, showing its relation to the Ford Focus hatchback which we no longer receive here in the US. Despite sharing platforms with the Bronco Sport, you'll find the Escape to be more forgiving when traveling over uneven pavement, and the overall ride quality is tailored more towards families and car shoppers who prioritize comfort above everything else. Our thoughts on the plug-in hybrid variant are lukewarm when it pertains to the driving dynamics, as you're sacrificing performance for efficiency, and as a result, because the electric motor works in tandem with the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, accelerations off the line are lethargic at best. Where the plug-in hybrid compensates is with the 37 miles of pure electric range, demonstrating the benefits of going EV without solely relying on electric propulsion 100% of the time, making the plug-in hybrid a viable means of transportation when traveling as you won't need to worry about range anxiety. When Ford introduced the fourth generation Escape, it received mixed reviews, as its design was somewhat controversial for a compact crossover, and was rather a vast departure from its predecessor, which many Ford loyalists had grown to admire. Now after a few years, the mid-cycle refresh fixes the cosmetic elements that some complained about. Drawing your attention almost immediately is the sleeker front fascia, that's sportier and more inspiring than ever with the more pronounced LED headlights, but also an arm model we had featured was Ford's coast-to-coast -coast LED light bar that hovers above the grille for a trendy yet futuristic appearance. Unlike competitors, the Escape's Euro-inspired design hides the fact that the platform it's based on is related to the Focus hatchback, taking a slightly different approach to the compact crossover segment than rivals such as the RAV4 or even the Hyundai Tucson was take on a traditional SUV design. To complete the front portion of the Escape, available are LED fog lights for improved visibility on dimly lit streets. Then coming around to the back, refreshed taillights will help to modernize the Escape, along with some very minor cosmetic alterations that together gives this crossover a youthful appearance. One of the reasons the Escape has appealed to shoppers is that it lacks the boxy body and roof lines that many in this segment have, while at the same time still falling right in line with others when it pertains to practicality. Surprising to still see in 2023, the dual exhaust outlets are visible on this model, whereas other manufacturers have tucked them underneath the rear bumper to have a cleaner look aesthetically. As outdated as the exterior was for 2022, the interior was also getting up there in age, and with manufacturers embracing both larger screens and less buttons, it was Ford's turn to also do the same. 
on our well-equipped plug-in hybrid, we had a handful of features that are available on other trims as well, including a revamped 12-inch digital gauge cluster that's easier to read and higher quality than before, and also a head-up display to keep your eyes on the road ahead. However, the highlight for this model year is the enhanced 13-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility to go along with onboard navigation and a 10-speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system which is available as an option. Despite the upsizing of this user interface, it's still Ford Sync 4 system that should be easy to navigate and get acclimated with. One major difference is that the physical dials and buttons for the dual zone climate control have been removed, following the same trend as rivals who've placed most if not all these functions on the main head unit itself. While there are a number of menus to scroll through and interact with, the Sync 4 system is rather simplistic but responsive, making this user experience on par with traditional competitors. Available and equipped on this Escape is a 360 degree top view camera to complement the rear backup camera with trajectory. But this Escape also has a front facing camera to offer improved visibility when parking on the street or in a garage. The Escape is the very essence of not judging a book by its cover. Despite being outsized by the Honda CR-V, Toyota RAV4, Volkswagen Tiguan, and Hyundai Tucson, Ford's compact crossover finds itself in the middle of the pack among all competitors when it comes to overall car space. And thanks to some ingenuity and taking inspiration from vehicles designed for small European cities, the Escape's 37.5 cubic feet of room behind the second row of seats outclasses rivals from Subaru and Mazda. And while not being a segment leader, there's more than enough space to load up the family and go on a weekend getaway. This is partially made possible by Ford incorporating second row seats that can slide on rails, which isn't typically found in crossovers of this size. As a result, passengers of all ages should find themselves to be very comfortable, as even the bolstering of these seats are firm and somewhat aggressive to keep you in place. While the Escape does have a lower roof line, you can recline these seats for additional headroom to accommodate average size adults, making this crossover a family friendly option. The number one reason why the Escape has been beloved by many is because it's very well rounded. From its performance to practicality, Ford has you covered in almost every way with this compact crossover. But 2023 feels a bit different, as its modernized exterior and interior draws quite a bit of attention, but also falls more in line with rivals within this price range. With seven different trims and a variety of powertrains, the Escape's versatility and ability to appeal to different car shoppers puts Ford in a unique situation, where they position themselves to meet the demands of car shoppers today and in the future, while also offering an array of packages and features that some competitors may not have equipped on their vehicles. All in all, while the 2023 model year only experiences a mid-cycle refresh and does put aside some of its outdated qualities, it just might be enough to become a crossover worth considering if you're looking for a new daily driver. We hope you enjoyed this quick buyer's guide for the 2023 Ford Escape. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in buying an Escape or any other compact crossover, make sure to check out our full reviews to help you find your next vehicle. And thanks for watching.